If you need to wear diapers, you probably live in fear that someone is going to discover your diapers and make fun of you. Be there in a minute. One sign that might give you away is if you leave used diapers in your trash can that guests might accidentally see when they come over. Ew. What is that? When it comes to this concern, I've taken a couple of different approaches. One thing I used to do was go around and grab all the extra trash that I had on hand to throw on top of the diaper and bury it in the trash can so that way it wouldn't be visible. It's pretty unlikely that any guest you have is gonna be nosy enough to go digging around through your trash. Why you been going through my trash? You're too nosy. Stay out of my business. Another thing I would do is just take the trash out anytime I had a guest coming over. In the off chance you're having some guest over, a friend or a family member that you know is particularly nosy, this would be one way to approach that. Taking out the dirty diapers is also another great option for one of the other signs that may expose you need to wear diapers. Oh, my problem is it smells terrible. What does that smell? Do you smell that? If you're an adult with no kids and your home smells like a nursery, that could be a dead giveaway. While taking out the trash will help with potential smells, there also are a lot of other ways to address this issue. I actually discussed six products to handle stinky diaper smells in a video I did a few weeks ago, so I'll put a link to that one down in the description below. One of those products worth mentioning again is of course the Diaper Dust Diaper Deodorizer. Having some on hand will go a long way towards helping to prevent your home from smelling like used dirty diapers, especially if you have bowel accidents. Like you pooped your pants? I think I did. The next major sign that might expose that you need to wear diapers is simply if your diaper pokes out over the top of your waistband. Good diapers usually come up higher than normal underwear, making it easy for them to poke above the waistline. This means anytime you go to bend over to pick something up or tie your shoes, you run the risk of your diaper being seen. I saw that. I am telling everyone what I saw. Please, this is my nightmare! One way to defend against this is by wearing the right clothes that fit with your diaper. In my early years of needing to wear diapers, I almost used to always wear a pair of boxers or boxer briefs over my diaper to help prevent this from happening. This way, if my shirt rose up and anyone happened to look, they would just see regular underwear. Underwear is also a good way to help muffle any crinkle sounds you might be concerned about. Is that your crinkle? Why are you wearing a diaper? <laughs> I'm wearing a diaper for the game. Uh, Personally, I think it's extremely unlikely that anyone figures out you're wearing a diaper because of the crinkle sound, but if you need that extra assurance or that extra peace of mind, this is one direction to go. Another defense to your diaper becoming visible is to simply tuck in your shirt. Tuck in your shirt. And even one more solution to this would be to wear an adult onesie. And yes, they make snap crotch onesies for adults that need to wear diapers. Here, you can see that there are some options that look like normal collared shirts. There are also a lot of more fun options like this one, or even the extremely fashionable options like this one. This type of clothing option gives you the benefit of knowing it's snapped in the crotch and there's absolutely no way it's ever going to be coming untucked. They do also help to hold your diaper in place when it becomes heavy and starts to sag a bit. Another thing they can help with is the next sign that can possibly expose you, and that is the powder proof that your diaper might emit. If you use any type of powder when you diaper up, then you probably already know that when you go to sit down, it can push a cushion of air through your diaper, causing a proof of powder to come up out the back of your diaper. This can potentially leave a streak of powder on the back of your clothes, on the back of your chair, or even potentially just poof up into the air. And if you're using any type of scented baby powder, this could lead to some paranoia over smelling like a baby. I smell funny. It smells like baby powder. You smell like baby powder. This is one of many reasons I'm developing my own line of diaper powders and why the very first versions of it are unscented. This way you can get the comfort and protection provided by a powder without any of the additional smells that you may not like. Heck, so far I've even gotten some reports from those of you who've already tried it that it does a good job at helping to neutralize smells as well. If you'd like to give it a try yourself, it's now available at thediaperdynamo.com. I'll put a link down in the description below. The next major thing that could give you away, especially for my guys, is the fact that you need to bring your backpack to the bathroom with you. What is inside? the bag. What bag? That bag? You don't need to know. Unfortunately, I really know of no way around this one. For my ladies in the audience, I'm sure bringing a bag to the bathroom with you is no big deal at all, but for us guys, it's not really a cultural norm. I think the only good defense against this one from exposing your need for diapers is to have some sort of reasonable excuse locked and loaded in case anybody ever asks you. While it may be something you feel self-conscious about, the vast majority of people will not ask about it. Of course, we can't really talk about bringing the diaper backpack to the restroom with us and the questions that may raise without also discussing the noises that might occur during a diaper change. Ugh. 
I mean, let's be honest with ourselves here. There are some pretty noticeable sounds when it comes to changing your diaper, but it is one of those things that for those of us that need to wear diapers can be quite worrisome. If you go to change in a bathroom inside of a small apartment, there may be no avoiding anyone else hearing these sounds. In fact, we all know how most bathrooms can reverberate and echo sound, causing it to amplify and being heard even more. What was that sound? What are you hiding? Acting weird. This could potentially be the cause to some awkward questions being asked, especially if they also notice you bringing your bag to the bathroom with you and that hasn't been a normal for you in the past. Then you also need to dispose of the dirty diaper and the trip from the bathroom to the trash bin can be a daunting one. Now obviously this is a situation where if someone sees a big rolled up dirty diaper in your hands there's not gonna be any denying it. I mean I suppose you could try. This is not what you think it is. It's not what it looks like. Forget you saw this understand. We've talked about diaper disposal bags before which can potentially help protect your privacy in this sort of a situation. Other things your guests might see if you're not careful are diaper changing supplies. I sometimes have diapers, white wipes, oils, various different things in different places about my apartment. Don't ask me how or why, but things get moved around. When you have some or all of these things in different places where guests might be able to stumble across them, it could be one of those signs that gives you away. One solution to this would be to have a designated place for your changing supplies to go. A way to organize things so that way everything has its place. When you're done with your diaper change, everything goes back where you found it. This way, everything that might give you away stays tucked away in a place where a guest might not just happen upon it. I so happen to stumble upon it. Wait! Are these adult diapers? At least when you have everything in its place, you can have peace of mind that your secret won't be discovered. It's important we do what we can to create that peace of mind, as needing to wear diapers can have a heavy impact on our mental health. For more on the ways that wearing diapers affects us mentally, check out this video next. And if you got any value in this video, do me a favor, hit that like button and subscribe for the next one. Until next time, stay dry.